Thank you very much. Madam Deputy Speaker, here we go once again, debating after being angered by the lack of ethics and alleged serious wrongdoing by government ministers. But despite the Prime Minister making big promises about integrity, professionalism and accountability, we know he is going to do diddly squat about it because he is too weak, because he is beholden to those very cabinet ministers to cling on to power somehow. So does the minister not think that the British people will smell a rat if they see the Conservative Party chairman, who, who as Chancellor was supposed to be in charge of the government's finances at the time, whilst trying to strike a multi-million pound tax deal with the HMRC for alleged serious wrongdoing? Uh, the Honourable Gentleman's view of the Government and mine come from different perspectives. I've got a huge amount of time for my right honourable friend, the Prime Minister, who is leading this Government in the right directions. And I have to say uh, that he is unwise, I think, to, make, uh, uh, to, to, to uh, take a view on the uh, outcome of an inquiry that has not yet uh, properly commenced. But it will. The independent adviser will get there and will establish the facts.